Welcome to this service of night prayer for the third week of Lent. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us keep a moment's silence as we bring to mind all that has taken place during this past day. Let us confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains tremble, in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell, and the, though the mountains quake at the roaring seas. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar, and the kingdoms are shaken. But God utters his voice, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord. What destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Words from the prophecy of Jeremiah. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord, our God. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping. But awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping. But awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So let us bring before God our prayers of thanksgiving. Our thankfulness for the gift of his Son, in whom we have freedom, in whom we have forgiveness, in whom we experience love and the fullness of life. Let us give thanks to God for all the blessings we enjoy each day, especially for those around us the love of family and friends. We give thanks for all who care for the sick, the sorrowful, the grieving, the troubled. We pray for all who are in any pain this night. For those for whom the darkness brings little rest, but rather awakens the pain and turmoil within them. Pray for ourselves as we journey through this holy season. That we may come to know Christ in a new way. That we may recognise him as our Lord and our Saviour. As our friend and as our brother. moment of quiet, let us bring before God those things which lie on our hearts and minds this night, those people, those places, those situations, and let us pray for those who have no one to pray for them this night. So let us commend to God all those for whom our prayers have been offered 
in the words our Saviour Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive forth from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.